god. Okay, Tommy Wiseau is back. Should I just go with Tommy Wiseau? Okay, while well, I'm cutting, there's no go on map. I'm literally so happy with it, and I love these front layers. Okay, my Nani costume is pretty much on. You know who you are? You're John Cena. Can't see. <laughs> and he's gonna kill Stitch. Can we do what we do in the shadows, please? Sure. Used to get my head done, used to have my nails long, used to wearing makeup every day. Used to rush to work and have no time for fun and spend half of my life on full highways. Then the world closed down, stuck inside this town, home with the family, all new reality. Four walls and a door, nothing's like before you and me and no distraction. So let's just keep it simple. There's so much we can do at home Build a fort in the living room Have a pillow fight, grill cheese in our bed And we'll look at stars and eyes Keep it simple Disconnect the telephone Rip up all the calendars Cancel every plan Catch up on the bachelor We'll still laugh again The day we kept it simple Always used to worry Always in a hurry the minutes just fly by Focus on the wrong things Double tap and scroll and fall asleep While asking myself why Then the world closed down Stuck inside this town Home with the family on new reality Four walls and a door Nothing's like before you and me And no distractions So let's just keep it simple There's so much we can do It's currently Friday, a couple days before Halloween. I have, oh my God. Sorry, I just got distracted. I just saw the truck for the moving company that we had used when we moved into our place. I'm like, oh, other people use them. But anyways, sorry, totally off topic. It's Halloween weekend. We have no idea what we're doing, by the way. So I have no idea how this vlog is gonna go. Someone mentioned some plans extremely tentatively for tonight, but I don't think that that's gonna happen because I haven't heard anything today. So I have literally not a single clue what's going on for Halloween this weekend. I do know that I want to dress up. So I figured while I was out running a couple of errands, I might stop off at like Spirit Halloween and go grab a wig. As of now, I don't definitively know what I'm going to be actually. I, uh, I have an idea. But all I know is that I want to wear a wig. So I'm going to go get a wig without an actual costume in mind. But the errands that I'm running right now are actually some returns. I'm going to be working on the returns for the dresses that I showed you guys in my fall wedding guest outfit ideas video. You guys voted on which one I should wear and the red one was an overwhelming landslide. So I'm returning all of the other dresses except for the red one. I really did debate keeping the blue one because I do love the way that that one fits on me personally, but at the end of the day, I don't have anything to wear it to. So truthfully, even though I do love the way that that dress fits on me, it would be really dumb for me to keep it and be out that money for absolutely no reason. So I'm returning it. I know I could wear it to the wedding in Cancun or like one of the events for that wedding in Cancun, but I have a different dress in mind that I like more than that dress. So I just gotta let this blue dress go. But I'm on my way to Urban Outfitters and then afterwards I need to stop off at FedEx to return the Revolve dresses. I don't think I mentioned to you guys, but in that video, 
it was like a little bit difficult to do fall wedding guest dress looks with what I was working with. I only wanted to shop at places that had very easy returns and that didn't charge me to send back the dress to return. So really that's Revolve because they have free returns and then Urban Outfitters because I can return in store. And then I was trying to keep it under $100 and basically for Revolve, most dresses that were gonna be long sleeve we're either out of the $100 price range or we're just way too casual under $100 with sleeves. So that makes out a lot of the more traditionally fall dresses for Revolve, which is why a lot of those dresses I was styling with a coat and stuff. I mean, regardless, I might be wearing a coat with the dress, so I would have styled it with a coat anyways, but just wanted to let you guys know that's why I ended up picking the dresses that I picked because it honestly was slim pickings for the criteria that I was trying to hit. But anyways, I left with not a lot of battery on my camera. I, you'd think I'd know better by now, but apparently I just want to act like an amateur. So I'm going to go ahead and shut up for now, and I'll probably just chat with you guys after I'm done with my errands. I had an epiphany while I was waiting in line to purchase this. First off, I didn't end up going to like Spirit Halloween or the Halloween boutique near us or anything because like the line looked like it was 40 minutes long and I was like, no, all I want is a wig. There's no way I'm waiting that. So I just went to Party City where I could just like go in easily. When I say that the line was long at the Halloween store, it was long to get in, not even like at the checkout stand. So Party City was where it's at. I was so glad that they did end up having a black wig. I wanted either a black or a brown wig. Again, at the time that I was getting the wig, I had no idea what I wanted to be. But while I was in line, I had a freaking epiphany. So I don't think I filmed it, but I went to Five Below and grabbed just like two things that I needed for it. And I am gonna be Nani from Lilo and Stitch. I have the shorts. I do have a top, but I found an even better one there and do need to cut it to crop it and luckily they also had a stitch stuffed animal so the costume just made itself and I'm gonna be doing this picture of her I'll put it right here so you guys can get a visual but here's the wig it would be better if it had bangs but I'm not about to try to cut that myself so I think you know it's close enough but I just thought it might be fun to see what I would look like with close to my natural hair color. My natural hair color is black, you guys can see it here, but it's not like a jet black, like this is definitely darker than my natural, but as we all know, I am pretty blonde most of the time, so I just thought it might be fun to go ahead and put this on right now and I guess see what I look like. Oh gosh, the front is like messed up. I mean, it's just a cheap wig. I don't expect this to look spectacular or anything, but still fun. Uh, I talked to Trevor. We have no idea what we're doing. Most of our friends were like, I don't really want to do anything. I'm like, why don't we just all wear a really easy costume and go out to the bars? Like, you know, we live so close to like the bar area in Costa Mesa. Might as well, but anyways. Okay, that looks ridiculous. First off, I did not put that on right. I do not ever wear wigs, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, the front needs help, but maybe I should cut some bangs. <gasps> Holy crap. Girl needs some freaking volume, number one. Especially in the front. Can I style this? Like, can I use heat on this? I'm like scared to. Do not use styling tools with heat elements. Well, that answers that question. Should I cut bangs? I feel like maybe. Ugh. It's in my mouth. But I look like I could just be the girl from the ring. Never mind. Let me return my stitch thing because I'm just going to be the girl from the ring. But would I be able to get away with bangs? I feel like it would just lend itself better to this. I just don't know how to cut bangs. I'm just flipping it to see what it would look like. <laughs> the hair is so much poofier than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a little bit sleeker. But I mean, that's what you get when you're just buying like a $20 wig. So this is on me. I really don't want to have to cut bangs, but I feel like bangs would be the smarter way to go because this just looks creepy. Like I didn't expect the wig to look spectacular, but I expected it to look okay. And this is definitely not okay. The more I'm doing this, the more, oh God, it's in my mouth. The more I'm convinced I should cut bangs. 
just like wispy ones. But the problem is like, there's no going back once you do it, you know? Damn, wait, just wants to pull forward so much. So I feel like with bangs, it'll work better. <sighs> Trying to decide. What do we think? Are bangs gonna be better? I think so. Yikes, I'm so scared. I'm gonna make a mess everywhere. If we're not going out tonight, what I could do. Ah, I don't wanna pay for that. I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So I was like, oh, maybe I could bring the wig and my hairdresser can cut the bangs for me. But I don't wanna pay to have her do that. That'd be so stupid. I think maybe I do. Okay, maybe. Maybe we start with like some curtain bangs and then I trim from there. I think that that's the way to go, right? Yeah, it really is just like this front area because once I pulled out the volume in the front, the rest of it, it looks better. Y'all, I'm scared. I'm scared of seeing myself like this. This is terrifying. I, you know what this hair reminds me of? You guys, you guys know the movie The Room? Tommy Wiseau? Like this hair totally reminds me of Tommy Wiseau. God, I can't unsee it now. Okay, now I do have to cut bangs. We're going in. Okay, so I just watched a couple TikToks. I am not confident at all about doing this, but we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Hopefully, I don't actually cut my actual hair, but you know, if I do, I have a hair appointment tomorrow, so she'll fix it. Oh God. Okay, Tommy Wiseau is back. Should I just go with Tommy Wiseau? Like. <laughs> oh God! Someone help me. Send help. Okay. Okay. It's just so puffy. It's gonna be okay. It's not your actual hair. You are fine. I'm scared. I'm very scared. I don't know why. Like I said, this isn't my hair, so <laughs> who the fuck cares? We're just gonna do this. I'm gonna go for some wispy bangs. If you're wondering if this wig smells, absolutely it does. Without a doubt. No, 100% not even. Okay, first of all, where's the part? Okay. Okay, then here and like that. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna start longer and then I can trim in. Oh my god. Okay, while well, I'm cutting, there's no going back. Okay, you know what? Not as bad as I thought. Spartacus knows what's going on in here and it's making him angry. I'm convinced. It's just like too much hair. You know, like if I could just thin this out, it would be better, but I do not have the expertise for that. What is this that's happening? Just trim up to make them like wispy bangs. Oh my God, this is literally going straight into my freaking eye. As you can tell, I've never been trained as a hairdresser. Really, I should have put my freaking hair back on. Can I get this to straighten? Like I know I can't use a straightener, but I want it to straighten. Honestly though, the bangs aren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be. I'm actually somewhat shocked. Just like if it would stop going into my eye, that would be ideal here. I love how I thought this costume was gonna be low maintenance. If any hairdressers are watching this, yes, I know that I am doing a terrible freaking job. I am quite aware. I do not pretend to have any expertise on your field. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. That feels better. Let me do the same to the other side. Not the worst. Not the worst. It just looks like she's having a bad hair day and has no volume. But not the worst. Should I get curtain bangs? No, I shouldn't. Stop it. I am getting some kind of bangs done tomorrow, by the way. Just a little teaser. This does not want to go where I want it to go. I'm about to cut it fully off. Not the worst, if I do say so myself. So I'm just gonna try to thin this out even more though. One time, oh shit, when we were really little, <laughs> my cousin really wanted layers in her hair. Her parents wouldn't let her, so she spent the night at my house and I legit cut layers into her hair. It looked really, really terrible. It was literally so bad. Like, we thought it looked so good. We were like, oh my god, look at your layers. They look so good. <laughs> and immediately when she got home, her parents were like, what is wrong with your hair? Okay, I'm going to bring down the back and just see where we're at. Oh no. Oh no. She's caught in the rat nest. Okay. Can you 
It's a little bit too Betty Page, but it's just so thick. You know what I mean? Like if this had like half the weight, or maybe it's because I don't have my hair fully flat underneath, that could actually really help. You know, this is kind of, I have the little wisp where she has the little wisp. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop playing with it. I really, I really do wonder though. Let me like do a fully flat bun. Wow, after wearing that wig, <laughs> Then seeing my actual hair, my self-esteem is just like through the roof. <laughs> like I'm like, wow, she looks great. <laughs> Truthfully, when I do this, I'm gonna do like two French braids and like get it really flat and tuck it in. But this is close enough for now. Okay. Pray for me. People with bangs, how do you deal with this? Like sometimes the actual long hairs try to get into the bangs. I don't understand how you deal with that. Okay, now that I've flattened the hair, it's better. I mean, it's popping out the back there, but this is better. This isn't as like crazy. I could be a pinup with this, but you know, when I put on all the pieces for my Nani costume, it would make sense. So that's her, it's my alter ego. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, if my parents had had their way with my appearance as an older woman, this is actually probably what it would be. My dad would have wanted me to have bangs. Actually, he'd want short hair and bangs, but like I would have fought for the long hair, but they would have wanted my natural black hair and bangs. I'm like, should I send this to my dad and be like, I changed my hair? He would be so happy. That would be me. <laughs> my parents really hate the fact that I'm blonde. Let me tell you. But okay, no, this is great. This is good. Should I keep going with the costume? I don't even know if or when I'm gonna wear it. I will say though, with the bangs though, I no longer feel like Tommy Wiseau as much. So that is a plus here. I'm gonna get off, I've been recording for so long. I don't even know what this has been edited down to, but just now I've been recording the whole bang saga for like 25 minutes now. So I'm gonna give it a rest. morning I was a freaking idiot and I accidentally set my phone down on my dresser face down which puts it on do not disturb mode so guess whose alarm did not go off when it was supposed to mine yep and I have a hair appointment right now but I need to get a lifting session in because I skipped yesterday thinking I would have more than enough time to lift today before my hair appointment so I've just literally been running. I'm very, very mad at myself, but luckily my hairdresser is running a bit behind. So I was able to stop and get a smoothie. This was my first time at Jan's, I think Nutrition Bar or something. My friend Hillary was telling me about this place. It's like right near us. And, and also, by the way, I'm so sorry, it's so dark, but I just, I can't deal with that right now. I'm in such a hurry, but I got the, I think it's like the blue power. It's basically blueberry and oatmeal, it's not bad but just needed something quick that was high protein because that was a very, very heavy lifting session. So I guess this was like a good in between. I'm kind of wishing I had gone with the chocolate and peanut butter one instead. I don't know why I didn't. I think just because I usually do chocolate and peanut butter whenever I'm trying to go for protein and I just wanted to try something different. But yeah, next time I think I'm gonna try that one. This one isn't bad, it's just I really want a chocolate and protein. By the way, my hair looks like a hot mess. I just wanted to give you guys a little before. Besides touching up the color, we are also gonna cut it. 
uh, not anything drastic lengthwise. Although I do feel like I want to take out a decent chunk of the length just because I've noticed the ends are getting like really, really bad. So typically I do like half an inch, maybe an inch, but I think today I'll tell her to go ahead and take off like an inch and a half. I mean, my hair is very long, so it's fine. It'll still look and feel very long if I do that. And then I am going to cut more into the front, do a lot more layers in the front. So obviously I will show you guys what that looks like when we're done. But luckily, this smoothie place is very, very close, like not even 10 minutes to my hair salon. So I'm literally running right on time right now. Oh my God, where the hell is my phone? Oh, there it is, okay. But anyways, I'm about to pull up. I don't know if I'm gonna vlog in there at all. If I do, you guys know, it's just gonna be like montage clips. But either way, I will obviously show you my hair when I'm done and show you guys what haircut I got. And we are back. Wow, it is, it got so gloomy while I was in the salon. So I guess I'll just have to show you guys when I get home. I don't know what you guys can see, but we did cut it and we lightened it. We're working our way. Actually, this was the last step before the big overhaul that we're gonna do in December, but you guys will see that for Vlogmas. But, oh, okay, here, the lighting's a little bit better. So we were able to break through right here. We are having trouble on the last couple sessions breaking through the brown that was here because it had been previously brown before from like old hair color. We were able to actually really fully lighten it up here. And then I cut off about like an inch and a half to two inches off of like the overall length, especially in the back. And then we put in a ton of layers in the front, almost kind of like long curtain bangs, but it looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I'm almost sad that there's a chance I'm gonna have to put all of this hair back into a French braid and put the black wig on tonight because this hair deserves its moment, but also it's Halloween and I want an opportunity to wear my costume this year. Okay, we're home. You guys can get a better look at the hair now. It looks so good. Look at how much lighter it got. I'm literally so happy with it and I love these front layers. Like these are so much fun. Basically, I just asked her to chop into the front. That's essentially what we did. So if you guys want this haircut, just I guess tell your hairdresser to chop into the front of your hair. But anyways, wow, I can't stop looking at the viewfinder. The blonde looks so good. It looks so bright. It was getting really dull and we can figure out why. She actually just told me to start using the Fanola shampoo, the purple one, just once a month because I was doing it like every other week and she's like, that may be a bit too much just because the Fanola purple shampoo is so, so powerful. So she said to use the other Fanola shampoo that I use, it's like the fiber shampoo or something like that. Use that most of the time and then just do the purple shampoo once a month. And she actually said to start it on dry hair, um, at least for my hair. She wants me to put it like up at the top here because she said up here is actually where we're gonna lose toner the fastest. So she said to put it on here, dry, work it in, then go rinse it out and then just like let it kind of wash through the ends and that should be more than enough to keep my blonde nice and toned. But anyways, we are still trying to figure out what to do tonight. Really, really hoping that we can find some plans and I can get dressed up in my Nani costume. I didn't show you guys. So I mentioned I got a stitch stuffed animal from Five Below. It's actually pretty big. When I saw it online, I was like, oh, it must be a small thing, but it's pretty big. So for five bucks, finished up my Nani costume and I don't mind spending this because I like the fact that the eyes are embroidered in. It's not like beads or anything because then that means I can give this to Spartacus after I'm done with the costume. But for now I have to put it up high or else he will destroy it. He loves to destroy stuffed animals. But anyways, I guess I will just update you when we figure out whether or not we're gonna do something tonight. So we're gonna meet up with our friend. We're gonna go to a bar and maybe another bar and then go to Harper House, which is this like basically I don't know if it's 24 hours, but they're open really late. I think it's 24 hours, but it's a diner. So that's the plan. We're noticing as we're getting older, our friends are making less and less plans for these holidays. So it's getting harder and harder to do stuff, but I will at least take dressing up in costume and going to a bar. So I'm getting started on just some very simple makeup. I mean, obviously Nani doesn't really have a crazy makeup look. It's all gonna be about the outfit. Sorry, the lighting is trash. I'm hoping you guys don't fall, but I am gonna be trying Julia Haven's hack. You guys know she's like the brow queen. It's not her hack, but it's her product that she uses for her brows. The got to be spiked styling gel or spiked styling glue, I should say. This one is water resistant, which is great. So 
I'm gonna try this to fluff my brows. I think I should work in a closer mirror though. It's always so hard doing my makeup at night because I do my makeup against the window here. And when the light's gone, the only light source I have is behind me. So I always have to like turn. All right, this is really kind of difficult because the gel actually lifts my foundation up. It's not actually making my brows lay. I can feel it. it's like close. I feel like I need my wax down first. So this first and then go in with the styling gel over top to really lock it in. So let's do that. Oh my God. There's like white crap all over my brows now. Actually, I'm gonna use a different brush. Go for the regular styling wax, just to kind of get it shaped where I need it to. And I think with the got to be glue, just use a very, very small amount. Cause if you do too much, then it clumps. And also you'll experience what I experienced where all the extra just kind of lifts my foundation up. It also kind of makes like a paste, so be careful. So this is with the glue and the feather wax. This is just the feather wax. And now I'll go in just a little bit of the glue on this side. Literally try to take as little as possible and just finish off this brow. Okay, great. And definitely let it dry for a second before you go in and lay down the tops of the brows. Okay, I think I need to keep practicing with this, but I definitely see the potential and my brows feel a lot more secure than when I just use the wax. So we'll see how that goes. But anyways, I'm going to finish up the rest of my face. I just wanted to do that part really quick on camera since we were trying a new product and sorry about the messy room. I didn't make the bed today. I'll see you when I finish up the rest of the costume. Okay, so the real strategy with my hair and the wig is to French brain and what a shame that I just got my hair cut and done and I'm about to do this but it's okay there are worse things in life so I'm thinking two French braids into one big braid and then put that back in a bun I just feel like that strategy is probably the best move and will get my hair the flattest I should have separated my hair out half and half, but it doesn't matter. No one's gonna see this. Okay, I've gotta be ready in like 10 minutes. <sighs> Luckily the actual outfit is really easy. If I can find my shorts, crap. One side is done. Luckily I've always been a really, really fast braider. Ooh, you guys, my arms are tired. By the way, you guys, my hairdresser saw the wig today, I showed her a video of it, and she's like, that is one of the worst wigs I've seen. I was like, I know. Party City, 20 bucks. I didn't expect it to be good. Oh, my shoulders are killing me. Come on. This is what I work out for right here. French braiding. Oh, I look so much blonder with it pulled back like this. Gather it up into one. I'm sure that looks awful in the back, but it's just to go underneath the wig. Twirl it around. Secure it. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay. My non costume is pretty much on. I just need the socks and my little stitch stuffed animals so that it makes sense. But other than that, we are good to go. This looks so weird still, but I will say still better with the bangs. So we're here over walking over to the bar. Here's my whole outfit, shorts and my Tim's. I got my little stitch guy right here. Trevor's dressed up. Can't his fatigues. Me. Yeah, you can't even see him, but he's basically. <laughs> you know who you are? You're John Cena. Can't see. <laughs> this Halloween, I'm gonna get even with you. I'm gonna go summer dip, I'm gonna go find my boo. If you ain't scared, we can disappear in this dark room. This Halloween, I'm gonna get even with Ghost, I'm a ghost, ghost. Keep it low, keep it low, low. I'm a dip to the castle in a cloak. Wiping off a little blood from my clothes. Creeping, I'm a monster for the weekend. Got a long fur coat freaking. See when the truth start leaking. We could be each other's hate fuck for the evening. This Halloween, I'ma get even with you. Ah, 
All right, back from our Halloween celebration. We actually ended up having a lot of fun. It was mellow, but like in a good way. We still got to, you know, play some pool. There were other people at the bar that we were at who were actually dressed up and people actually recognized my costume, which I was shocked about. I do have to say though, the best costume I saw tonight was there was a girl and I think it was like her boyfriend or her husband. They were dressed up as Christine Taylor and Ben Stiller in dodgeball. Like he was a Cobra and she was an average Joe. It was fucking awesome. I think that that was like one of the best costumes I've seen. And their costumes were like legit. They looked like they actually had the uniforms from the actual movie, but yeah, so we just like hung out the drinks at that bar were cheap i honestly am a huge fan of that bar i really really loved it i would like to go back again and then afterwards we went to harbor house to the diner got some food i forgot how good their chocolate peanut butter shakes are just so fucking amazing i'm like out of breath because i ate literally so much fucking food but we're back home here with spartacus let me see if he wants a spurt do you want do you want to kill stitch do you want to kill Stitch? You can have him. I'm done with him for my costume. Oh. And he's gonna kill Stitch. That's yours. You're welcome. So my Halloween costume is officially done because he's about to rip that to shreds. Uh, I'm sorry, there's no squeaky toy in there. That's just for you to, to rip apart. He's trying to search for a squeaky toy in it. But anyways, we enjoyed ourselves. Trevor is going to bed because he has to work early in the morning, but I am just gonna watch some TV and hang out and I'll just see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's actually Halloween, but we're not gonna do anything because it's a Sunday. We might watch some scary movies and stuff, but still I'll let you guys in on what our plans are. Hello and happy Halloween, you guys. It is so late. I don't know why, but I slept until like 12.30 today. We actually got home before midnight last night because Trevor had to work, so it's not because I was like hungover or stayed out too late or anything. I literally had like three white claws for the whole night. So I was just exhausted for no reason, but I was able to get myself up and out of bed so I could film a video. I meant to film two, so I need to figure out if I'm just gonna film the other one a little bit later tonight but i'm on my way to trader joe's i just need to pick up some things i feel like i go to trader joe's in almost every freaking video i just clearly love trader joe's but for the actual halloween day today we aren't really doing anything we just last minute right now decided to get something like fancy for dinner so i think i'm gonna pick up sushi trevor's trying to call the order in right now because the sushi place that we usually get our sushi from sometimes doesn't answer their phone so i'm waiting to find out if i'm actually going there we're just gonna do sushi and some halloween movies tonight i have no idea what we're watching yet i think i really want to watch what we do in the shadows the movie we watch the tv show which is like a not a reboot or a remake but kind of like it's more of a spin-off that's what i should say it's a spin-off of the movie and we love the tv series and i've always wanted to watch the movie so i think i'm going to try to convince trevor to watch that tonight and then i'll give him like a pick of his own so that's the plan for tonight but for right now i need to pick up some stuff and oh my god the sky right now is gorgeous let me show you guys it's like literal cotton candy it's so beautiful right now Hey y'all, this side of the sky is even better. So freaking stunning. So our sushi place wasn't answering, so Trevor had to put in an order at a different sushi place, but now that time is behind and I have like 20 minutes until I can pick it up. But should I turn the light on? Not better. Oh God, that lighting's terrible. I'm just gonna leave it off, sorry. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys. So I was a little bit upset in Trader Joe's. The main thing that I needed was my pumpkin oat milk and they're officially done with it. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Thanksgiving is still like pumpkin season. Why are we getting rid of the pumpkin things? I don't understand. But they did have their Thanksgiving stuff going and I wanna see if I can convince Trevor to make Thanksgiving start early when I get home because I found this. This is a gingerbread turkey cookie decorating kit. I mean, I know that today is Halloween, but come on. This would be so much fun tonight. I don't know, we'll see. I feel like he's gonna say no, but we're gonna try. But I will also be making us some Blondie bars. I've never tried Trader Joe's mix and it sounded really good. Did I need to get chocolate chips for this? I mean, I have chocolate chips, but Okay, no, the chocolate chips are already in here, perfect. So I'll make that for us tonight. I am starving right now though. I have not eaten, 
at all today. What do I have that would be good to munch on in here? Oh, I want to try these. So I saw this from Jacqueline Hill. She said that these are really good. The, okay, now it's way too dark. Whatever. The Trader Joe's, these are the Crunch Curls. They're made with lentil and potato. They're supposedly like really light and super crispy, so. Oh wow, these are thinner than I thought they were gonna be. I thought that they were gonna be a bit fluffier, but they're super thin. Mmm, those are really good actually. Mmm, okay. I see you, Jacqueline. I did not expect that. They're very light, but they have like this good light flavor to them. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, it's delicious. I think this is a good sushi appetizer. Crap, I could eat the whole bag. Oh my God. Back home, I'm working on this brownie or blondie, I should say, mix right now. Trevor's laying out the uh, sushi, but I need to finish up the brownie or the blondie mix. So I will leave you guys in the hands of my talented co-host to show what we got. Here you go. Spartacus. <laughs> you and Spartacus. Then. Got some soft shell crab. Beautiful camera work from Trevor. That's my miso soup. What is that? Is that my nigiri? Yep. Nice. Rice. And then he got, is that spicy tuna? Mm hmm. And California rolls. What are we watching? Can we, can we do what we do in the shadows, please? Sure. Yay. You guys, I finally get to use my new little soy sauce bowls from Goodies. I'm so excited. Night. A friend's called into a dog and had sex. Cool. We're gonna have a little flat meeting in the kitchen. Okay, right, so Trevor's gone to bed. He's super excited to make the turkey cookies, but we're probably not gonna make that this weekend. We'll make it a different weekend. But I made the blondies. They look so freaking good. I'm happy with how they came out, but go ahead and try one. That's fire. Mmm, so freaking good. But, anyways, it's been a very uneventful Halloween tonight. Last night was more eventful. We got no trick or treaters. We never do, but every year we get like a small bag of candy just in case. But I think that's gonna be it for this Halloween vlog. I'm sorry, it's not something crazy exciting. Just literally none of our friends are doing anything at all. So we didn't really end up doing anything. Hopefully next year will be more exciting. I don't know. I feel like Halloween is one of those holidays that's like, kind of like New Year's Eve, where you always have like so much expectation for it, but the older you get, the less exciting it is. I feel like all the prep for Halloween is really where the excitement's at. Like we went to Knott's and stuff, I went to the pumpkin patch last week. That was all exciting Halloween stuff, but Halloween day was like nothing. It was like any other day, but it's all good. As long as 4th of July is always raging, I'm happy because that's my personal favorite holiday, but I'm gonna get back to my show. I'm watching American Crime Story, the impeachment one. It's so good. If you guys haven't started watching that, but you're like a fan of like the American Horror Stories and American Crime Stories, check that one out. Oh, What We Do in the Shadows. I'm so, so glad that we finally watched that. It was hilarious. We're huge, huge fans of the show and the movie was pretty much exactly like the show. So we definitely enjoyed it. So if you watch the show or you like that kind of humor, definitely check out the movie. But anyways, now I'm signing off. I will see you guys in next week's vlog where I'll be prepping for our mystery day. And then the vlog after that is our mystery day for Trevor, Michelle and I that we've been teasing, but haven't told you guys yet. So that annoying little thing that I've been doing will be over soon. I promise. All right, good night. <laughs>